Raw Stuff with Roger. Hey guys, today we're back with some more Toon Squid stuff. We're going to show you how how to make a brush. So we're going to start by making a layer. I'm going to go pretty fast and furious with this one because it's it's something that uh, once you try it a couple times, you'll get it pretty easy. So you fill the layer with black. Make another layer on top. You can use the same layer, but I like to separate these two steps. Then we're going to pick a brush. Now I'm going to go in to the airbrushes and pick the medium. You can pick whatever brush you want. You can make this look like however you want. I'm going to show you how to make a, cloud, a simple cloud brush. So we're going to have the opacity set somewhere near the middle. And then we're going to try it and go, oh, wait a minute. It needs to be white. So there we go. So whatever layers are the, the most solid white are going to be the most solid color of whatever you pick. So we're just going to go through and kind of make some light highlights at the top. So like the sun's kind of coming down and, and shining off the top. And we're going to make it look like there's some turbulence in the middle. And then we're going to export. So we're going to name this one. What do we? What did we name this? We're going to call it test brush. Now you can spend a lot of time on these cloud brushes and make them way more complicated, and that's okay too. I'm going to save the files. I like to keep it in the directory so I go to on my iPad I go down to Toon Squid and I go to brushes I'm gonna save it right in the brushes folder now to make that brush you got to go to the brushes I'll go down to I have a folder where I've made some cloud brushes already and I could copy one of these so I'll use it. if you want to copy it, you can just click on it and duplicate so if you really like a brush and you want to just change it a little bit you can do that I'm gonna make a new one go to edit and then go to the the shape and then you just click on that circle and you click on a little plus import from files you can also have it just a JPEG in your photos you can use any JPEG from your photos go to the brushes and then find the one that you put in there. Now here you can see as I'm scrolling down, I've made a, a bunch of different brushes. So they just kind of have that same black and white palette. And I'm gonna pick the one that we made today. Boop. There we go. And we've got some little clouds. And we can change the, the spacing and everything. I like to keep the spacing so it kind of is like a stamp. So every time I press down, I just get one. Uh, but I change it up every once in a while. You can change it up as you go as well. So when you're done making this, you can come back and edit it anytime. So don't really worry about these settings too much because you're going to just try them out and then you'll get to know from there. There's one thing I'd like to change the max size up a little bit if I can. Don't go too overboard, so now I can make some big clouds. So then we'll go back here, we'll click on our brush, we'll rename it, test brush. There we go. And I'm gonna go in here and just kind of make a make a blue sky somewhere in here. Oop. I'm going to erase that layer, add another layer, and then we're going to add some clouds in here. But first, yeah, I like to do this thing where I make the sky a little darker on the top or the bottom, and that cloud did not make a good line, so I'm going to go in and pick a line. doesn't really matter which brush I'm going to use. Make a line. And in, instead, it just filled the whole area. So <laughs> I'm going to change the fill option, bring it back, 
Remember, two hand touch brings it back. And then I'm going to just blur out this real quick. Usually I would blur it really, really well. But for today, we're just going to have fun with it. And we're going to pick a, a light color. And you can make the clouds any color. That's the cool thing about it. So we're going to click on the little folder. Boop. And the clouds. And to make that folder, you just click in the space. And you can make a folder in there. And there we go. We have our cloud brushes. It is that simple. All right. Have yourselves a great day, guys. And enjoy.